Shalom. Welcome to The Jewish View. My name is Rabbi Nachman Simon with the Chabad House of Delmar, together with my co-host Mark Ronich of Statewide News Service, jbiztechvalley.com. And as you can see right here, he is now the columnist for the Jewish Press. Right, I write about a column about how uh, government relates to the Jewish community, or doesn't as the case may be. And I'm having fun doing all of that. <laughs> so with us today, though, is a, uh, someone who I've gotten to know more recently, uh, Roger Green. So oh, yeah. he's the president of Friends of the Albany Public Library. That is correct. So welcome to the Jewish View. It's well, so good to listen, see you. Here. First, we have to say thank you. Here, you know, our studio, if uh, hopefully everybody knows that, is in the Albany Public Library, and you've been a right. great host to us for the last good few years. Mm -hmm. And um, so we have to first of all say thank you for letting us use your facilities. Well, it's the library is then we're we're, we're a, a, a we work with the. the Tell, tell us what the Friends of okay. the Library is. Friends of the Library started roughly 1947. And in the, the current iteration, which I'd say the last, at least the last decade, we have been putting on programming mm -hmm. for the library every, every Tuesday, unless it happens to be a, a you know, right. Christmas or something. Mm. And it's either a, a, someone talks about a book and, or they may have a, an author talk about his or her book. Mm -hmm. And we've, we've managed to do that on a fairly regular basis and, and attract you know, 30 to 70 people to, per, per week, depending on the popularity of the book, popularity of the uh, person reviewing the book. You know, right. the, the, but we've, we, we do that, we've done that on a regular basis. As, well, I've been on the board for over a dozen years, I think. Well, since <laughs> it says so since 2005. Well, then that's probably true. Until 2010, or that was a board member, it says. Yes. Well, I, it, well, so it, still, I, I won't doubt. I don't doubt but it. But you're still president, so. And I've only been president a couple of years. Right. So I don't know why it's only five years. This comes off your LinkedIn. Uh, oh well, I haven't page. looked at my LinkedIn page. Go you know. I'll, it I'll go. I'll go update my LinkedIn page right away. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, after the show's over. Not oh, right okay. I'm not going to leave right now. I'm going to fix, fix that right <laughs> up. So what do you do when you're not uh, doing the Friends of the Library? Well, one of the things, I, I, I think this is true, that I am uh, sort of a breakthrough person in, in the Friends. I am the first person to be the president of the Friends of the Library who's a librarian. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. So I work for the New York Small Business Development Center. Um, been working there for 23 years. And one of the things that we do is we have uh, two dozen centers across the state, and we have uh, advisors who meet with people who want to start a small business, or expand a small business, or maybe close a small business, or, and they want to pass it on to their, their mm -hmm. next generation or something. And so uh, we have very well-trained advisors who have lots of information they can provide to these clients. But every once in a while, we get question, they get questions that they cannot answer. So we have four librarians in our office, in, our, in the central office in downtown Albany. And we help them answer their questions about demographics or uh, regulations or, you know, a, you know a, mm -hmm. two stuff. The, the two questions we've gotten a lot of lately is medical marijuana. Mm -hmm of which there's very little room because of the, the rules are very strict. Mm -hmm. But people say, oh, there's medical marijuana. Can I get into the <laughs> thing on that? And, the, and, and hops growing for uh, beer, for beer, beer. Yeah, because, yeah. because uh, there's a, a license for the state that, allow, that gives special emphasis to places that have uh, beer where the hops and the barley are produced in the state of New York in a, in a large percentage. Mm -hmm. So there's lots of people saying, I want to I want to grow hops or I want to be a... It's a big market, you know, there in New York State. I didn't even know about that. It, it's, it's growing. It's growing. Yeah. It, 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 and it wasn't the thing... The funny thing about hops in New York is that hops, for the longest time, was, was I mean, maybe a century ago, hops was big in New York State. And then it wasn't. Now, now if, you, if you go to the census data, the Agriculture Department's census data, they don't even talk about New York. They only talk about uh, Washington, Oregon, and Idaho. Yeah, that's what I because was thinking also. So it's this, this rebirth of hops 
in New York is, is fairly recent. I mean, in the last half, half decade. Yeah, right. No, I agree because the governor put together this uh, craft beer uh, initiative. Initiative, right. Yes. Yeah. And they always, they have this uh, annual round table discussion that's done in a square, but not a round table. Right. <laughs> yeah, they, yes. And they, uh, Down and, in the egg or someplace. Yeah, and the governor always uh, has uh, a prize. Two beers. A, Fries for some. No, he, yeah. he, he sips. You know, you can't. You, you can't get no, no, really. I'm just joking. Around. I mean, you got a couple of beers home with me, so <laughs> they do have free uh, samples. Beer. Well, free bottles. That, oh, uh, well, you know, I, they've never invited me, so I. Well, I'll tell. I'll send you an email. If you have, if you have time. connections, okay. so, all right. Yeah. <laughs> we're right, so, right, right down the street. So, yeah. so you're involved. You're an information specialist, a right. reference librarian at yes. the New York State School uh, Small Business Development Center. Correct. Okay. And well, I just wanted to know what kind of education do you need to be in a librarian? You know, I, because it's interesting because I teach kids one of my 10 jobs. And I was talking about a librarian. They says, well, you have to go to school. Yes. I mean, they just, you know, these, they're <laughs> high school kids, but they no, just thought, no. you know, what book do you need? All right, I'll go mm -hmm. to the shelf. You need a whole... So just even no, like a that master's in library yeah, I have a, I have a master's in MLS. Yes, right. right. Which, so which they've changed to MSIS and Something information like that, yeah. of information science. But there's, there's a whole, it's a variety of mm -hmm. things that they've changed it to since I graduated. You know, mm -hmm. you have to know about computers now. I mean, well, it's it's the funny yeah. thing about my job is that it, if I were ever going to write a paper about my job, it would be how the technology has changed because when we first started doing it, we would mail information to our 24 centers. And now it's all packages and PDFs uh -huh. and so the, the, the task has changed. I mean, not the, the information hasn't changed that much. It, well, that's not true either because with the internet, people say, oh, it's all on the internet so I can find it. But there's always more information that you have to eat that only are available from databases the other thing the internet has done is that I think government's been really ba bad at this. Say so they say, oh well, we'll put it on our website, but of course I I look for that answer to that question. It's not on their website, uh -huh. so I end up having to call them and say, okay, what about mm -hmm. this thing? And you have to find the right person. So there's a certain level of yes. investigatory um, and specificity. Yeah, yeah. because your, your your stuff on the website is great, and it's. And if I have, and I need to know how many cars are in, um, mm -hmm. you know, this county or right, something right. like that from the DMV, it's there. But if I want to know how many Volkswagens, well, right. oh. actually, if you really want to know the number of Volkswagens, you have to file a FOIL. That's, that's right. That's yeah. actually because the DMV won't, if it's not on their website, right. you have to file a FOIL. I mean, I don't even, I don't even, if it's not on their website, oh. Because someone has to do the research. Yes. Uh, for, you know, that's anyway, right. I wanted to ask you, you're a voracious writer. I write some, yes. You do. I write pretty much daily. Yes, I would say. I mean, At least. Because you have a Times Union blog. True, uh, true. Something about information without the bun. Yeah, that's right. what it's called. Okay. You also have contributed to the Empire page. Not, not of late, but I have Not done. of late, but you have done. I have done that. Okay, you've got to update that. And then you have this thing called Blogiverse, or you did. Yeah, that I, I haven't done it. But I have, I have so, my own. I have, okay. I, I, in in so chronological you, order, I have my own blog. Yeah. I've had my own personal blog. What do you write about? I mean, I never, I okay. haven't seen it. No, I started in 2005, May 2nd, 2005. It's at rogerogreen.com. And I write about whatever strikes my fancy. Right. I write about culture. Culture. I write about movies. I write about. Um, Not specifically books like a library, like we're No, I, 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 you know, I, I write. I, I write about movies. I write about uh, sports. If it's, it's, it's something strikes my fancy, uh, but I also write about a little bit about politics. Uh, wrote yesterday, uh, yeah. Easter, which was which was at the time, which was which uh, recently at least, about uh, Paul Ryan. He's the Speaker of the House, Speaker of the House who yeah. wrote a story in uh, Sojourner magazine. It's a <laughs> Christian uh, online magazine. And he said that he, his understanding about people in, uh, on welfare was that they were takers. Those are people who were makers, like manufacturers and working people, and takers. And he realized by talking to people who actually were poor and were not happy about being poor, that that 
was wrong. He used the word twice, wrong. This is a politician. Yeah, right. And, and I thought that that was a wonderful, you know, I come from a, a Christian tradition, but it's, it's in true of, of most faith, of forgiveness and reconciliation and change. And that my, my sense is that now that he recognizes that he was wrong, then maybe that would lead to a different uh, legislative agenda for the, under, his, under his tutelage. Of course, I posted this, and virtually all my the people who commented, the four or five people who have commented, said, oh, no, he's a bum. He's, I want to prove it to me, show mm -hmm. it to me. And I don't disagree with that. But I think you have to get to that place where you believe that right. you have to change before you can change. Right. And so I was taken by Paul Ryan's recognition of his shortcoming on this particular issue. Mm -hmm. So I wrote about that. Right, that's well, fine. That's a, that's a nice, <laughs> interesting no, that's, idea. That's a, and I know that you've written, you know, you, you just about write every day, and this, uh, you wrote about Pittsburgh's bicentennial. Right, that was probably know. for my, there's a, I, I'm a, at work, I, I'm the representative to the, um, something called the State Data Center. And I probably published that both in my Times Union blog and on the, the, the State Data Center blog because you, it's a sort of a junk. And you wrote about local students art displayed at the Empire State Plaza. Well, that was biased. My daughter was in it. Oh, is that right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah my, my daughter, who's, who's 12, just turned 12, actually, yeah. uh, has, has two pieces in, in, the, in the artwork. Oh, okay. I haven't written yet about the reaction to it. I just, that was more like, this is going to happen. This yeah, is huh? about to happen. I haven't written about what did she do, right, but right. I will. I, oh, it, the fact that- gush. You'll yeah, gush I'll gush that. about it. Right. Every, this is, the, what, the reason I started my blog, my personal blog, 11 years ago, was that I, my daughter was born a year before. I said, hey, look, I'm going to write about my daughter in my notebook, da 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 And did, I wrote maybe three paragraphs. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, you, you, you know, you're terrible. You're a terrible father. What are you, you uh -huh. have to write better than that. So I started a blog. And every 26th of the month, without fail, Right. I will write something about my daughter. And I have, I've helped to that. And something about the public, no one else is holding me accountable to do this. No, to do of course this. not. Only I'm holding. Right. But the fact that I said to myself, not to anyone else, I will publish something about my daughter every 26th of the month, means that I, ha and I have done so for, for 11 years. Right. Because that was, that was important to me. No, well, that's why we have the blogosphere, because you, know, you can do things like that, and it's an outlet. Right. And it relieves a lot of frustration. Right. But you also had the danger of American fascism. Yes. And I was wondering if you could talk about that a little bit, because you, you wrote that they claimed to be super patriots, but they would destroy every liberty guaranteed by the Constitution. Well, that, that was in reference to a particular candidate um, who's, who has, he's 69 years old, has orange hair, I don't know if I need to mention him by name, but... I wouldn't know. <laughs> I'm not a candidate. No. Oh. <laughs> well, you're not here. You're talking about Mark. He's running no, I know. I mean, much more orange and, uh -huh. and much more, and, and much more puffy. Either, okay. He's not 69. So, so who is it? Oh, it, it, it's, it's Donald. The Donald. Oh, you think he has on, orange hair? Okay. Well, it's... it's well, no, it's, okay. a sort of, yeah, it's a sort of, it's right. an unnatural yes, color. it's an it, unnatural it, color, it, yes. You know. It doesn't look right. And it doesn't someone, look, it, yeah. Someone who's 69 should not have color. In his yeah, it, 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 it looks, look. unless he's really had, you know, grew up with that. <laughs> and, and so I, I just, I'm, I'm concerned about, um, I'm, a, mm -hmm. I'm concerned about the world. I mean, I, the truth of the matter is, I'm a political science major. I went, mm -hmm. to, I went to New Paltz and thousand years ago right. as an undergrad. And then I went to um, um, graduate school. Well, no, I worked at a comic book store for eight and a half yeah. years. Yeah, really? Well, Fantico. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Really? Long, long, bef long before I went to graduate school. I, went to, I worked there and then I quit after eight and a half years because it was eight oh, and a half years. It went under. What no, it didn't go on for another decade. Another decade, but still. It's well, still it, it, it was a result of me going. It, it died yeah, 10 years yeah. later. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, once you left, that What's was it? the end. Yeah, well, You're pretty, right well, pretty oh, much. That's right. And then after another <laughs> job I had for a year, and I, I was tooling around. I was a, a 
working the census, actually. I like mm -hmm. working the census. It was yeah. sort of interesting. Well, but my friend said, you ought to go to library school because your, your, your mind works like that. And I said, I don't want to go to grad school. Oh, you're kidding me. I'd be like, I'd be the oldest person there. and I don't want to do this and da, da, da. As it turns out, I, was, I did a study at school. I mean, my dean wanted me to do the study. And I was, think I was 37 at the time. And the average age, the, me the median age of the people there was 37. Really? So it was right like, in, oh, right I'm, I'm just like right. Which right, grade right school yeah. did you go uh, to? Albany. Right, the, right here. Right here. Right. The, the, right here, right the downtown. The, Albany has a very the, good library sciences. Program. Yeah, the da the downtown yeah. campus, yeah. Right, which is great. I, I prefer the downtown campus to the uptown campus because I found the uptown campus cold and stark. You said it right. Yeah. Well, I, don't I don't disagree, know. mind you. I love, <laughs> I love That's what attracted me to the new college was the was the design of the campus. Mm -hmm. So I mean. Whether someone says it's cold and stark, and mm -hmm. I say it's warm and fuzzy, and mm -hmm. I like the uh, Edward Durrell Stone uh, mm -hmm. part of the symmetry, mm -hmm. you know, I, I think that was terrific. But now, you know, as the university needed to raise money and mm -hmm. do more things, they got in a little, a little far field of the symmetry part. Oh, it definitely but, has. And I, but I always loved this. Some movie that came out in 1980 called Rollover. Yes. They, taped, I, they filmed it there. I saw, I saw it. I said, I went to see that movie, which yeah. is terrible, by the way. And they Only because that was in there. Chris Christopherson and Jane Fonda. Fonda. yes. And they stayed at the Desmond. And I actually called up to talk to Chris Christopherson. And mm -hmm. they put me through to his room. Mm -hmm. And he says, who is this? And I told him. And he went, oh, that's it. <laughs> But at least I got through and I heard his voice. Oh, and, there you, know, you go. But yeah, I, yeah. Who, who is this? You yeah. know? <laughs> but, but they also, they, the, the scene, when I saw the movie, the scene that they did was they came out of a meeting in, in one of the Arab countries. Right. And they were walking down the steps at the LOB. Right. The meeting that they had was at the assembly hall of mm -hmm. the, of the uh, university campus center. Right. So they were at the campus center for the meeting, and as they walked out of the meeting, they walked down the well steps, the mm -hmm. marble steps in the well. Mm -hmm. So it was like, you know, I knew what, what, that, that it was, you know, miles Magic. apart, yes. and I knew what the editing was, but most of the other people who would watch it would think, hey, that's an, you know, Arabian uh, yeah. set, you know. The, and the magic film. The magic of, that's right. And I, I like, I like, so I like to, I so like I, to. I thought I'd engage you with that little story. I, I so. like film. I like seeing movies in movie theaters. And I think I like it because you, you it allows you to sit, divorce yourself from the other things. When you're watching video and say, say the topic is tough, a tough topic. You might, if it's a video, you might say, oh, okay, I'm going to pause as yeah, well, enough, yeah. or, you know, and you don't get a real sense of how you feel about it. And so, or that it's, or the, or the comedy gets broken, or whatever it happens. I always prefer seeing, I've, not that I've never seen videos. I have friends who have many theaters in their homes mm -hmm. that when you sit there and you watch the movie, the biggest distraction is someone coming in and saying, a spouse coming in and saying, I need you to do this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it wrecks the, it wrecks the, mom the, the momentum, the, yeah. the movie's momentum. Yeah. Yeah. And it doesn't, it, doesn't, it doesn't mean you can't enjoy it, but it's it just <laughs> different. I, I don't, and I like seeing movies the second time on video. I mean, to see, right. you know, catch all those little yes. nuances you might have missed. Right. The, you know, the you know, trivia. The yeah. trivia. You know, the pause this. Who was that actor again? Yeah, you know, that well, kind of thing. Well, I call up IMDb mm -hmm. on my uh, computer when right. I'm watching a movie mm -hmm. so I could see who the character, who the actor is to the character. Mm -hmm. I, hope, I hope you think didn't glow too much and distract the other people. In the theater. No, I don't do it in the theater. Oh, well, I, oh I, thank goodness. I, you, you're a civilized but man. But I do okay. it in the, <laughs> you know, I watch it in my living room. Okay. That's, uh, I have my computer, you know, with the IMDB and I also uh, mm -hmm. compare it. And then I, when I want to find out about whether the actor is alive or not or, or something mm -hmm. more about the actor, I'll click on that and I'll read more about it as the movie's going on. I multitask. Oh, this. Uh, See, I, I divorce myself. I like, mm -hmm. I don't, I can multitask. But I don't, I don't especially enjoy it. I, I think I, I do less well with both of them. I'm less okay. in the moment, for lack of a better cliche, mm -hmm. when I'm, like, you know, I'm doing this and I'm doing this. I like, you know, I'm, I like <laughs> doing this and enjoying this and right. getting as much of this as possible. More linear. It's, I, I, okay. Or concentrating. <laughs> I like that you're concentrating on sure, one thing. I sure, sure. So t tell me, what did you do for the Empire page? 
when you worked there? I, I, you a contributor, but what I, did you I, contribute? I don't recall. Okay. <laughs> um, I'll talk a little bit more about the Friends, though. Yeah, tell me yeah, about that. How about that? Tell that me was about the original the point. Well, well, the original point is that one of the things that we're, that we're having in April is that we're having um, every once or twice a year we have one of these uh, book and author things. Can you can you show see that. it there? Can I'm you see that? Trying can you read that? Can they even read I that on there? Know. Well, anyway, Lynn Miller Lachman is a, is a well-known children's author, book author. And she is coming to Albany on uh, April 9th. From where? From New York. Well, she's coming from New York City. Oh, that's not far. Well, she's coming up the train. But, I mean, she's not, she's not local, local. But she's coming up. And at 12 o'clock on the 9th of, of, of uh, April, we're going to be doing, um, having a luncheon at the... Um, University Club, which is twenty dollars, which is what it costs. There's no, pro no profit being made here. The charges mm -hmm. they charge us twenty bucks. Right. We're charging people twenty bucks. Okay. There's no, there's no. Um, and then at one thirty, she's going to talk at the, at the library. Universe. Oh, at the library. At the library. Okay. Uh, with library at one sixty one Washington Avenue. Right. In case you. And the University Club is just down. Is one, well, block one away. like a one yeah, block right. away. That's exactly. why we pick it because it's. So close. It's, yeah. It, yeah, it does. And they, and they have a decent food, and they have, they have a lot of other good uh, amen, amenities. They serve and, as and, well. And they'll take in kosher food if you, you know. Mm -hmm. they're, they're, they're very, yeah. they're very they're accommodating. Very, they're very accommodating. Very accommodating people. They will uh, make, you yeah. know, make arrangements. Yeah, yeah, for, for, yeah, for kosher, for vegan. Yeah. For, I mean, the, the people, you know. Halal. My, yes. Yeah. My daughter has a peanut allergy. You know, I, 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 not that so, she's going, but... So you have this Lynn Miller, Lachman. Yes. And who else? Uh, well, that's, the, that's this, the, the next one we're, we're, do, yeah, okay. we're go, doing. Uh, we're also working... There's, there's an entity called the, uh, the Albany Public Library Foundation. And one of the things that's been great about <laughs> what's happened this last year or so is that the friends have been invited to go to the meetings of the foundation. They they raise they raise money to do various and sundry things for the, for the library. So the foundation raised the money. I thought the friends raised. We the also money. raise some money. They In do. fact, we, we 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 do raise money, but the money we raise come tends to come from our membership. Right. And uh, it's only fifteen dollars. Right. Uh, <laughs> shameless plug. It's well, you asked the fine. you asked the question. It's fine. Everyone should join for fifteen dollars. You should join for fifteen dollars a year. And what we do, what do you do? What do you get for your fifteen dollars? Yeah, right. Well, that's we, a good we well, that's a reasonable question. We send up, out a postcard uh, once a month and tell you who the, the speakers are going to be for the month of April. So the postcard for April has that, and also they have the thing about Lynn Miller Lockman, and then the May, etc. Um, so what else we should talk about? Oh, and, and in the fall, the the foundation, not us, but we we will, we will work with them, are are having one of the. Um, the literary legends thing that they've had for like the last two or three years, and we 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 always try to support that as a as a fellow library organization. This year it's going to be uh, Leonard Slade, who's a poet, um, black writer in this is from SUNY, and uh, Marion Roach Smith, who wrote something called the Memoir Project, which is about how people can. To take the memoirs to, um, she's written other things too, but the, those are the two books that we're particularly noting because we're having some uh, events, the, the foundation's actually having some events in April to promote that. Who so, heads up the foundation? Uh, Holly McKenna. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. She used to be on the, on the board. Yeah, I know. The, her, uh, I know so her you're husband. picking out the speakers? I mean, <coughs> you personally, I mean. The, well, the, well the, they, the, that was a collective decision to pick out those, those I mean, for, for the foundation? Yeah, right. I mean, well, the, well the, the, the board of the foundation picked out the speakers, I, but they, I had input into that, into you, that process. You also uh, had Jack McEnany. Yes, Jack, is, Jack is great. Can you tell me what your connection is? Because it seems like he's doing some sort of history about Albany, a ver, uh, well, video. He, yeah, well, he, we had him speaking, uh, I miss it, last, it was last fall, perhaps. Yeah, I was there for that. Yeah. And, and he's just um, but a font of information. But is there some... Relational? Well, yeah. the, the, with the library, yes, because I think he's been an advisor, I don't know, for, formally or not, with the history room okay. upstairs. So I think he has, 
because he just but knows so much. He does know stuff. so much, yes. And you know, he, I mean, you know, he's not that old, <laughs> but he's, I mean, he's, but he, but he knows right. the history well before his time. Yeah, and he could talk about any ethnicity that was in the Al city of mm -hmm. Albany at any time. Yes, and it takes mm -hmm. me a while because I didn't. I grew up in Binghamton, yes. which is um, it's Binghamton High School. Uh, Binghamton Central High School, actually. And it was back in the days when there was a Central High School before they merged into okay. one high school. Class of 71. I, yes, yes, thank you very much for that. <laughs> I, yeah, it, they merged in 82. Okay. So if, you, if you're on some sort of social media, they'll say, Binghamton High, Binghamton high School before 1982, right. which was the Central and North, and Binghamton High School after 1982. Uh -huh. Yeah, so yes. Okay. So you, uh, so he knows you know, he's going to be on the show. He's been on the show before, but I thought there was some sort of connection. Well, you should ask him. Well, what's your, uh, what's your biggest, you know, what did you hear from him that you were, like, so surprised about? Like, it was like, wow, I can't believe that. Well, you know what it is? It's that I, I, since I didn't grow up here, I've only, I've only been here for, like, 35 years. And it, it, when you're in, in Albany, I mean, the people who, who know, who grew up, and then knew the different high schools, and they knew yeah. the different things. And, and all that stuff is secondary to me. It's not, yeah. so almost all of that stuff okay. that happened before I got here is, is sort of, mm -hmm. I mean, I, I obviously have been here 35 years to pick up right. things, but, it's, but he, he, his was so fine that there was an inordinate amount of stuff that I, that I, I didn't know that. Mm. Mm, didn't know that either. <laughs> so, because the, the, you, know, you actually had to cut him off. Yes. He, he could have. He could have gone, gone on for he, hours. Yeah. He, he, the man. The man could have spoken for three hours, and I don't think that was an exaggeration. Right. And, and people he, and people would have listened to him for three hours. And they would have asked questions. Yes. And they would have wanted more. And yes. No. He he's he, he was my assemblyman. I voted for him more than once. I, since he's not running, I can say that. Okay. <laughs> so what's uh, for the future of Friends of? What do you see? Well, one of the things I, I see as, as a, you know, I've been doing this assessment. Oh, the other thing that we've been doing, I've been doing specifically, is that there are other friends organizations of, of, of other libraries. Yes. Uh, and uh, Detroit and Schenectady. East Greenbush. Well, no, actually, that's what's connected because the Clifton cutoff Park. is the, the ones that are tied to. Um, I think Clifton Park has a friends. Yeah, I know. They do. But the ones that have been meeting have been the ones that are part of the. Mid, the, the ones that this oh, this okay, one okay. and the, the Schenectady system, system goes Mohawk Valley. Schenectady goes yeah, you know, that west, way, you know, yeah. westward, and ours goes southward. Right. So Albany and Rensselaer County okay. are to be the ones that tend to be getting together. I but see. what what they've been doing is say, well, we do this. I thought, oh, we could, we might do that. So we've been sharing ideas about how to market the organization, mm -hmm. you know, whether we, whether we have the people to do X and Y and Z. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's been, uh, yes, that's, that's been a useful thing. So, you know, you learn these things and you say, oh, they do that. Well, maybe we ought to do that. And we, but how do we get from yeah. point here, a, point, a, point B? Yeah. Because like, like, we've been doing this the way we've been doing it for a very long how, time. How long have you been present? Uh, Since 20, I want to say 2013, the, the okay. June. So it's 20. been about three years. Two or three years, yeah, I you think so. You tired of it? Or you enjoy it? Or? I like parts of it. I like, I like the part where I keep learning things. Uh -huh. And I say, I like, I like, for instance, I like going to the meetings of all the other friends groups. Okay. Because that is great. It's like to, to, to see things from a different point of view, you get very insular. Well, not just me, but we all, I suppose, get a little insular about doing the things that we do all the time uh -huh. the same way and said, is this, and without even thinking about it, it's not like you, you're, 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 you're stuck, you just don't, you just, you get up and, you know, take, the sh take your shower and go to work the mm -hmm. same way all the time. Okay. All right, Richard, that's, uh, you're doing, Roger, we're green, Mr. Green. Yeah, well, your you, green you, shirt, you, I should know you're green. I, that, that was, that was the tip off. See, my sweat, I had a sweatshirt and that was green, You're too. green. <laughs> Listen, you're doing great work. It's a volunteer position. You're Volun not getting paid oh, it's all, it's, it's all, that what we do is all volunteer all positions. All right, so, yes. I mean, that's kudos to you that, you know, a lot of people are civic minded that they help out and, you know, different ways that they can. And it's, that's very, very noble for you that, Helping out the library, helping out the community, bringing speakers, and 
you know, we wish you only the best and do it with good health. Yeah, well, much thank continued you. success. Yes. Well, thank you very Wonderful much. To have you here. This was not painful. No. <laughs>